all right y'all so here is my center build all right disclaimer right disclaimer bro because you ain't gonna see nothing but driving in the paint post moves and close shots bro you ain't seeing no more assists you ain't seeing no you barely seeing me pass the ball you ain't seeing no threes no none of that so if you want to see that I advise you click off the video right now, bro. Three disclaimer, bro. I'm gonna do it about three times for three videos, and then that's it. I'm done. But I'm just letting y'all know right now, bro, because this is probably gonna get boring as hell. This is my first time playing center, bro. And I'm gonna show y'all the build right after this. Cause that's literally what we're gonna be doing all game, all day, bro. We're gonna be we versing like the Nuggets, I think. So we in Denver with it going crazy. Um, this is my center build. Um, he's he's about like a 70 overall 71 overall uh, I didn't buy VC for him yet kind of um, Because when I bought VC for my for my point guard for my other character he uh, He was maxed out and so I had like 10 bands or something like that and You know, I was maxed out. I couldn't spend any more VC and so I was just playing games and the whole time I was playing them games to unlock attribute upgrades I was just saving my VC. Y'all know I don't really buy clothes and things like that, so I was just saving the VC. And so I just came to the conclusion. I'm like, hmm, because I created my center at that time. So I'm like, maybe I can, maybe I should just put it on this dude. Like, you know, maybe I should put all that VC towards the center, you know, since we kind of moving towards that anyway. So it just made sense, right? It just made sense. So we had like 40,000 VC. So I just threw it on this dude, and he is a 71 overall. So he went from 60 to 71 real quick. And then we just been grinding the whole time, bro. We in like our fifth game of the season. I don't really have any animations and stuff like that. I just got, you know, what I, you know, um, upgraded, and then what I can choose from that. Uh, like I said, I did have about 40,000 VC, so I have a maxed out. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all the, the attributes right after this, bro. I'm gonna show y'all my build. But I have a, I am a interior force. I have a maxed out uh, close shot and a maxed out driving layup. I know driving layup, y'all. Why, why you, why you upgrade your driving layup if you're a center or power forward? You know. And we gonna, damn, we are gonna get into that in a minute. We have no defense right now, bro. We have no, no defense, just all offense. And like I told y'all, bro, it's to get the money. Defense ain't gonna get you no cheese, bro. It's all about that offense. All about the offense big body moves okay i missed out i missed out but it's all about what gives you the most vc bro and so points gives you a lot of vc and so we want to score points and so that's what i upgraded first i just i just upgraded my points that was a bad jump i just upgraded my points first basically so i, up, I upgraded close shot i upgraded um driving layup i upgraded uh i upgraded um Perimeter or not perimeter um, strength upgraded strength decently because I was gonna upgrade my uh, Standing dunk, but it was so expensive, bro, and I'm like I'm gonna do more layups than I am uh, Dunks you feel me that's just what it is like it's just gonna happen you would get in contact animation and Sometimes you'll do a layup so I'm like it makes sense to upgrade the layup first And that's why I don't have a high driving dunk. I didn't make this uh, This player to dunk bro I did not. I did not make him a dunking center. He can dunk. Yes, don't get me wrong. He can dunk decently, but he is not a, or I said center. He's not a dunking power forward, bro. He's just not. He, he's all, he's all layups. You feel me? He's all layups and close shots. And so that's why I think this dude is going to be a beast around the rim, bro. Like he, He's going to be saucy. We're going to get into it right after this game. Hopefully we can get this dub. So I can get that four times XP um, badge progression. Mm -hmm. Spin off him. Huh? Huh? Ugh. Look at that shot. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Y'all gonna see some post work though. Oh my mommy, y'all gonna see some post work. This is gonna be pretty new for me too, bro. Cause y'all know I don't really play center. Like I played center in like 2K16 um, for a little bit, right? I played with it a little bit online. And, you know, I had compliments. Like, people call me a decent center, but that was so long ago, bro. And so, I know center is a little different now. You got to play it a little differently. You know, you got to 
it's just so so many things that you can do Man, you to have a, a there today. advantage to see you back there, you know? And so Yeah, man, it's it's um it can get crazy. It can get crazy. So this is a new experience for me. And I know a lot of people play center, especially nowadays, that know how to play center. But in my opinion, I just thought that playing center or just driving layups, layups in general, are low-key OP in this game. So we go in this route. But not because this matter or anything, but because it's different for me. And I'm not really a fan of the shooting too much, bro. I am kind of a my career guy. I mean, I do like to play online a lot, but I do like to play my career as well. It's like 50-50 with me, you feel me? So here is the build. We are 71 overall right now. Interior force, power forward, seven foot, 285 pounds with a seven, eight wingspan. We maxed out the wingspan, played with the weight a little bit. I might, I mean, yeah, I don't think I'm a max weight. I play with the weight a little bit. I think so I can get the 91 strength. I believe and then i think i am max height for a power forward so we gonna have we're gonna be versing a lot of small people but that's my advantage that's my whole thing too you're you know you a power forward so nine times out of ten power forwards is like six seven six nine six ten maybe um but we is gonna verse some people like i think anthony davis is a power forward uh Giannis is a power forward so we're gonna have some decent matchups in the nba for sure but let me tell y'all why I made this build. Not why I made him, because we all know why I made him, but how I made him, right? What was I going through in my mind to make me come up with this build? I think he is a beast. Y'all just got to see me play with him. I know this stats look kind of weird and wonky, but let me, you know what I'm saying? Just get into my brain real quick. Just let me cook. Let me do me. You feel me? So, 94 close shot. The reason I picked 94 close shot is because close shot is... I wouldn't necessarily say it's OP, but close shot is important, bro. Like, you see a lot of people putting up standing dunk before they even really touch close shot. A lot of people don't have close shot, and I think I think we tend to forget how important close shot actually is. It's, it's the ability to make shots around the rim. Whether it's defense guarding you or you're open, it's the ability to make it. So if you have a high close shot, you will make a lot of rebounds or offensive rebounds and just go back up you get decent badges too don't get me wrong don't get it twisted you get decent badges for just having a, a high close shot you know and so i think 94 close shot was obviously i played with this i looked at the badges and i looked at you know requirements and things like that and you know i played with it so i can get other attributes up there and decent so this wasn't just you know 94 i'm gonna just have it like somewhere around 94 or something no this i i literally went into the lab and really focused on this so we have a 94 close shot 89 driving layup and so this is probably the weird one i upgraded the driving layup because nine times out of ten i'm gonna be running the break bro and i've made centers in the past and not even centers or power fours but like just taller players most likely like small fours and power forwards without driving layup and i was always mad when i'm running in transition or i have you know i have momentum and it's a driving layup and i end up missing it because my driving layup is so low bro it's so low it, it, we we'll just have like close shot um standing dunk you know Sometimes driving dunk too, because I, I want I always want to drive and dunk so I can you know get them contact finishes. But with this build, I didn't even care about driving dunk at all. Really don't care about it. You know I don't have that much speed. I only have a 61 speed, and I'm definitely not carrying the ball. So that's why I have 25 speed. Um, we'll get into that later. Uh, but 80 89 driving layup. A lot of people wouldn't expect me to have a high driving layup, and so when you see me in transition. And, you know, with the ball, once I get it, guess what I could do? Yero steps, spin layups, you know, hop layups. I could floaters. I could do all kind of layups, bro. And so that's why I chose A89 driving layup. Every layup that we're going to do is not going to be standing still. It's not going to be from the post. Sometimes it's going to be a transition or off a screen or something. Some, my nose keep messing up. I'm bad, y'all. 
yeah, every shot is not going to be just standing still. Sometimes you're going to have momentum. You feel me? And so that's why I went with that driving layup. Obviously, we don't care about that. Or driving dunk, we don't care about that. Standing dunk, I went with a decent standing dunk because I want to be able to do standing dunks. But I don't want it too overpowered or too high to where I can't mess with anything else. You feel me? Because strength was decently high. And so that's why I went with like 91 somewhere, you know, kind of close. I actually was going to go a little lower on the strength, but I'm like, I kind of want to go higher. I was going to go higher too, but, you know, I wanted to meet it like right in the middle somewhere, but also have a high strength still. Um, it's then dunk. Like I said, I want to be able to dunk. I want to be able to dunk when I can, you know, and sometimes you'll get a contact dunk and it'll help out. And so I wanted a standing dunk so I can be at least a little bit dominant, a little, a little more dominant than I already am. You feel me? So I could be dominant standing. So I have not only close shots, so I can, you know, Kareem hooks, Elijah Juan shimmy shakes, all that, right? But I also have a standing dunk. So I'm also like Shaq with it. I'm also like Dwight Howard with it. You feel me? I'm good. I'm good in that area. And then obviously I have an 87 post control. Like I said, I went kind of in the middle a little bit. Didn't want it too high because post control, standing dunk, and even strength a little bit is kind of high on the attribute points. They're a little high, bro. So I'm like, I kind of want to meet in the middle, but I want to be, I want to meet in the middle to where I'm actually good at it. You feel me? Where I actually have a good post control. I actually have a good standing dunk, you know, a good strength. I went with a little higher strength because I know that, you know, because what if I just put like this 88 or put this 90, put this 90 or 89, you know, and then I wouldn't be as dominant as I could be if I would have just went up a little higher on something else and then just kind of, you know, fell back in a certain area. So I kind of fell back in the post control because I know I'm not always going to be in the post either, bro. Sometimes I'm a pump fake. You feel me? Like I said, sometimes I'm going to be in transition. And so I might pump fake. I may, you know, hold L2 to go in the post. But like, I think 87 is a decent post control, bro. I can still body people. That's what strength comes in. You know, so I think that's good. Obviously, we don't have any shooting. 54 mid range is what I had to do because of the close shot. So I guess that would help. No three point. I wanted to upgrade my free throws so I can make some decent free throws. You feel me? Especially if I know my free throw. I don't get fouled a lot, but you know, I want to know. I want a decent free throw so I can make them. Um, no passing accuracy. I know this one is a little rare. But I was like, I'm a sacrifice, bro. I'm gonna be good in every other area but passing, right? Obviously, I have a 49 ball handle. Not even gonna use that. That's not even, you know, like, yeah, don't even care about that. Uh, but I didn't do any passing accuracy because I wanted to upgrade other things like post control, standing, you know, driving layup. That's probably where this went to. Like, say if I had like a 70 driving layup. I could have went higher to like at least 60, 70 pass accuracy, you know, but I wanted that high driving layup because of the, you know, the reasons I told y'all before. Obviously, no speed with ball. We don't even need to have the ball in our hands. We just need to be running the floor like Curry, but, you know, a little differently. Interior defense. Obviously, you need interior defense. You're a big person, bro. You need to be able to play defense. I want to be able to play defense. You know, obviously, I don't want any steals. I don't want to play perimeter defense. I just want interior. I want to stay around the block. You know, I want to stay around that area. And I have long enough arms and I'm tall enough to where I can reach and contest if if need be. You feel me? And I also have a high block rating. Um, I could have went lower on the block rating, but I think this is decent. I think this is nice because I also wanted, you know, like a good rebounding rating as well like i want to be able to rebound that's one of the things i i like doing a lot is rebounding the ball but i also didn't want too high of a rebound you know to where i couldn't get a 93 block or something because really now that i look at it i could have went like 95 rebound with like either way but i think defensive rebound was a little more expensive than offensive rebound so that's why I went with the 93, but now I think about it, I could have went there, but I think this is great. I think this is great. We got a 93 block, so you ain't coming in this paint easy. You feel me? You ain't getting in there, getting the easy bucket. Now I'm sending that. We have max speed, max agility. 
Uh, 91 strength. Obviously, I want to be decently, you know, decently swole and big body. And then we also have a 78 vertical. I know you need vertical to be able to get rebounds, to be able to get blocks and and dunk. Right. So I wanted that as well. Um, so I think this build is damn near perfect. I think it's perfect. So we'll just watch. Watch when I get my, you know, my 90 overall, my 99 overall. We're going to be grinding this dude for sure. Um, from now on, probably starting now. Maybe not. Maybe not next video, but um, probably one or two videos. Y'all will see uh, a lot of gameplay from this guy. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to show y'all and play with this build. Like I said, we are 71 overall, so it's going to be a little struggle. I don't know if I'll buy VC for this character. I probably will, and if I do, it probably won't be that much because I just like the grind. I don't know. I, I like something about me likes the grind, bro. I like the I like the struggling. I like the damn. Watch when I get here, it's gonna be over. You feel me? And then when you finally there, it's a like I don't know. You just feel amazing. And then I also was thinking about like I'm gonna upgrade all the attributes that I you know dominate in first because usually i upgrade the least expensive attributes like i will upgrade this i'm gonna max that out max you know something that is cheap out i will max that out first and then i would go for you know like my like for my point guard i would go my three point first obviously but then i would go for like you know strength vertical rebound you know and then i would start hitting the other you know the other ones but with this dude, we're going to do a little different right now. I am upgrading my post control because I want that to be decently high. And then next, I'm going to go for my strength. We're going to get that up there. Post control and strength That's we just going to be dominant in those areas. And we're going to keep cooking. And then I'm going to start upgrading my standing dunk because I really do want to be able to dunk. But this is also it's also like eh, be right because I want to upgrade my rebounding as well. My rebounding is good, especially in game because of the, uh, the, are they still called goat moments? Goat skills because of the goat skills. So my, my defense or my rebounding is decent because of those. So we average probably eight to nine rebounds a game or something like that. So, um, them goat skills are definitely helping us out, especially with the speed. Like as soon as we, uh, activate a goat skill we get like 70 speed like right off the jump i don't know why or how but i just feel a whole lot faster and it definitely works in our favor so i definitely try to activate one and it's i think it goes on for like six minutes bro i told you i've been grinding bro and it goes on for like six minutes or something which is damn near half the game bro and so it like i'm not a starter yet obviously um or at least i think i am i think i am the next game i think i'm a starter um I'm not going to be, damn, what, what was I just saying? I don't even remember what I was just saying. Um, How the hell did you lose it like that, bro? I don't know. Forget it. Um, <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> but, yeah, bro. Right? So, yeah, that's the build. Um, um, speed go crazy. When we get our goat skills. Oh, okay. So that's what I was saying. So when I when I use one of them, when I activate one of the goat skills, when I activate one of the goat skills, I just changed this one. This is why this one don't have any progress yet. Um, because I want that defensive rebound. I want the close shot. I want the post control in the defensive rebound. I told you that's gonna help with the deep that's gonna help with the rebounding. I just got this one. So I'm like, this is cool. This one it stays for six minutes, bro. So literally after six, that's a whole quarter. Y'all know I play on six minute quarters, bro. I might up it to seven, but six minute quarters. That's a whole quarter, bro. So literally after this one is done, then I would try to activate the other one and try to keep, you know, so I can stay at a at a decent rating so I can keep that speed so I don't move so slow. Um, but that's been my whole strategy. But instead of having this one, I was using... I was using fancy feet. Basically, you do gyros and things like that. But I was looking at it, and obviously, you know, I don't want this one. I don't want ball handle. I don't want steel. You know, I like standing dunk, but I also don't really want driving dunk either. So I'm like, that's probably not the best one. You know, I want something for my rebound. I want something for you know, for uh, 
um, blocks or layups or inside shots, something like that. So I think these kind of coexist with each other because we have driving layup, we have block, still not great. We have driving dunk, not great, but I'll take it. You know, especially if we get it to Hall of Fame, that driving dunk will probably go to like 85, maybe even 99. Maybe 89, somewhere, some, it'll go high though. So we'll want that. And then this one is just perfect. It gives me the defensive rebound that I need. It gives me the O rebound that I need. It gives me the close shot that this one doesn't give me. And also gives me the post control. So I'm working on the post. I'm working on my hook shots and all that, bro. We don't hit a lot of hook shots. It may look like we hit a lot of hook shots, but we don't, bro. Trust me, I was in practice with it, working on my badges and I was missing everything. So we don't hit a lot of hook shots. I just try to, you know, body around the rim and just push square and you know it'll go in like that but actually doing a hook shot we missed those so post control will definitely help out with that and then we have a high close shot so that's not really nothing crazy but an extra you know a couple of attributes don't hurt at all so that's what i've been rocking that's everything let me show you all the badges that i have at the moment brick wall been grinding on uh paint prodigy and as a matter of fact i could change this paint prodigy because i've already have it oh no no uh what's the names float game not really working on that like i should and then hook specialist i think this is for what is this for let me see what attribute that is is that post control oh it is post control okay so we're getting that up anyway we're getting that up anyway so yeah, I'll put this on post control or hook specialist and then put this float game and then we don't have anything else. Nothing for this either. Yeah, so we're going to rock like this. We're going to rock like this, bro. So this is what we have right now. Uh, post powerhouse, rebound chaser, post up pet, uh, poet. So we got decent badges, bro. We have decent badges. And then obviously we have some like unpluckable, um, rise up, and things like this. So that's gonna be cool. High flying denier, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be fun. Um, hook specialist, aerial wizard, that's gonna be fun, especially with putbacks. We also have off ball pest, which is nice. Is it me or do they not give you a lot of badges this year, bro? Like we only have a couple badges. How many badges do my player got? I swear he don't got that many. How you go to the roster? Let me go to the roster real fast. Is it career features? Yeah, let me go to, let me see. How many badges I got, bro? Where's the badges at? Hey, look at the badges. I got nine total badges. I mean, I know I don't have any more, but like, oh, personality badges? Oh. And I want a hide emotion during big moments. Adds more grit and toughness to a player. Enhances the ability to rally teammates. Okay. So we have nine badges. But like when we get the other ones, we only gonna have like what, 14, 15? It's like they rob you for badges this year, bro. Or maybe I'm not, nah, hell no. Nah, I should have way more badges than this, bro. I don't know, but. Yep, that's us. We are not a starter yet, but we are coming to take Carl Anthony Towns' place or even Rudy Gobert's. So, um, yep, that's everything, y'all. This is the player that we're going to be playing, bro. This is who we are going to be playing. This is the big three, bro. Y'all see us. I'm ready to start this new journey. Like I said, it's going to be a grind, but I like the grind. I like it. The grind is, you know, what makes it, you know, saucy, bro. Hope that y'all enjoyed this, man. We're going to go and get up out of here.